All right, let's talk about it. Castlevania Resurrection, the recent demo that has been unveiled to the public for the first time in 22 years, the drama behind it, where the eBay listing for it disappeared to and more. We're gonna talk about it all right now. So unless you've been living under a rock for the past week, the Castlevania community has been shook to the core with some really amazing news. What is that news? Well, the Castlevania Resurrection demo has been released to the public in video form, meaning we are now seeing somebody playing this game on an actual Dreamcast showing us the gameplay. And this is the first time that we've seen that other than like, you know, some gameplay footage that we've seen on like IGN and GameSpot and it's all really, really low resolution. This was off of what I presume to be some sort of handy cam or some kind of phone or something that this guy was filming on. So uh, earlier this week, probably around like Monday, Tuesday, somebody posted a video under like a brand new YouTube channel and it was like CV Resurrect Demo or something like that or CV Resurrect Lives. I can't remember, but uh, I will include the link down below just in case you haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, this person is showcasing some footage that we've all been clamoring to see. We knew that somebody had the demo. In fact, I've even seen the demo on eBay, one of the demos, like years ago for sale for like five grand or something like this, some insane number. And I looked at that, I was like, ooh, I'd love to have that, but I don't think it's real. It might be fake, who knows? But I don't know if it was that demo, that specific demo, who knows? It really could have been, and this guy bought it and was sitting on it for a couple years and decided he was finally gonna showcase it to the public. But yeah, it's been 22 years since Castlevania Resurrection. Uh, the game was worked on, uh, or they started working on it. And uh, this video showcases a very early build of the game. It looks to be like a like an alpha build of the title. And from what I gather about this demo, it looks like you're able to move around, uh, you're able to pick levels if you press start, uh, the different levels you could walk around in them. Uh, I have no idea if the whip motion or any other buttons work other than moving because this guy had a really shaky hand and I, I don't know if he was like holding a camera or a phone in one hand and playing with the other. That's what I suspect he was doing. I really have no idea, but that's my assumption. So I don't think that hit detection or any kind of damage was enabled in this demo. So he, he walked into a pit of fire and didn't get hurt at all. Uh, although I did see like some hit animations, like if you got hit with something, it looked like at one point that there was a part where Sonya gets hit. I don't know, but, uh, and, and no whip animation. So no idea if that is actually in the game. Uh, we'll have to play it for ourselves if it ever gets released. Hopefully it does. And it, you know, it, based on the information that I'm going to give you, uh, in this video, it, it looks to be that way. So fingers crossed. But anyways, so one of the reasons why I kind of held off on making this video is because I wanted to dive a little deeper. I wanted to get a little bit more in-depth information before I just, you know, come on YouTube and say like, oh my God, this demo, wow, crazy. Like, I feel like, you, you know, my audience here, you guys know I'm a super Castlevania fan. Not just super Castlevania 4 fan, but a super duper Castlevania fan. My favorite franchise of all time. And I wanted to make something that would kind of get a little deeper. And to do that, I reached out to a friend of mine on Facebook who happens to be the composer for said game, for Castlevania Resurrection. His name's Mark Lindsay. So the reason why I know Mark is because I reached out to him after learning that he was the composer. I did a little homework on my own and found out that he was the guy that worked on Castlevania Resurrection, as well as a couple other Konami games from back in the day. I think one of them is like Bottom of the Ninth, and there was a couple other games that he worked on here and there. And so you can look him up. His name's on like Moby Games and like all a bunch of other websites, and you'll see proof that Mark Lindsay is the composer of Castlevania Resurrection, or at least what was going to be Castlevania Resurrection. So I reached out to him. I hit him up because I was working on this 
retrospective for Dude You Haven't Played This Game, which was called The Legacy of Sonya Belmont, and it tackled Castlevania Legends and Castlevania Resurrection, both kind of combined to just kind of talk about the character of Sonya Belmont, uh, review the actual game that did come out, Castlevania Legends, and try to fit Legends and Sonya back in the timeline. So that was what I tried to do with that review. I thought it came out pretty good. I actually really like the review. Uh, it's one of my favorites, so I'll put a link down below and maybe like up top somewhere around here. So go check it out. So enough of my self-promotion, even though this is my channel and you are here watching me. So uh, I reached out to Mark initially when I was doing that review to see if he still had the music for the game because there's been versions released online and uh, I did try to download uh, of, like the inferior versions that were released that were really, really low resolution. And he was super nice and he was like, hey, let me give you the master versions so that way you could use it in the review. That way it sounds, you know, the way it should sound. And so again, Mark, I can't thank you enough for letting me use that. Uh, and uh, so if you want to thank Mark for that, go down below in the readme in the description. Uh, you can go check out his SoundCloud account. You can actually listen to the Castlevania Resurrection master releases. So that is that. Is that. So... You know, I became friends with him and, you know, here and there we would comment on other stuff on Facebook and whatnot. And so, Mark, uh, I, I reached out to him after all this kind of went down with this demo. And uh, he had some interesting things to say and he told me a little bit of information that he gave me permission to share with you guys. So, let's back up to the actual demo so the demo was was put out the to showcase the video and then shortly after that the demo was released on ebay so the guy is trying to hawk this disc on ebay to get people to buy it and it went insane i mean the price started out at like a thousand or five hundred or something like that and it went bananas it went to like three thousand five thousand ten thousand fifteen thousand uh mark actually sent me a screenshot of where it ended uh which was at 25,000 or just or just over 25,000 so like wow and I was looking at that and I was like you know when it was like a thousand I was like mm, man I'd love to own that that would be so sweet but I was like no I can't I, I just I don't have the money but like secretly I was hoping the Castlevania community would like come together and be like we'll buy it you know just so we could release it to the public so anyways, yeah, this guy basically posted like, hey, you need the second disc, the, the, the setup disc or the setup disc two or whatever, the system disc two in order to run this thing. So you can't even run it without the system disc two, which I guess you could probably get online from some source. I'm not sure, but I, I, I assume that that's the case. There's ways to get around it, I, I'm sure. The, the Dreamcast community is pretty clever. They've done a lot of really amazing stuff, especially lately with the Thomas Wave games being put on the Dreamcast. But anyways, so all of a sudden, the listing gets taken down. It just ended, like like it, it was completely taken down. So I found out the reason why it was taken down and that was the information that I wanted to share with you guys because again, I talked to Mark and he gave me some pretty interesting stuff. So uh, Mark reached out to the seller via eBay and was like, hey, I'm the composer. Just so you know, this is technically somebody else's property, this is illegal, this is Konami's, and uh, he threatened litigation. He threatened potentially litigation. And, you know, initially he was like, I, I really just want this to be released to the public. Like, that's what he said. And what I have here is a conversation which Mark allowed me to showcase to you guys. He told me it was totally fine to share this information. So the first thing I just want to clarify is I did ask Mark, like, do you happen to have one of these discs? Like, do you have the ability to play it? And uh, he said he has played it, quote unquote, uh, but he doesn't have the discs. Uh, I guess like apparently Konami was really tight with giving those discs out to the to the public, which is weird because it's like he worked on the game. So, you know, why wouldn't he get a disc? But I guess they were, you know, those those finished versions of the game that were sent out or displayed on like E3 and stuff like that. They were, you know, uh, they, they were probably pretty, pretty hard to find. He also told me that he was going to reach out to some ex-Konami uh, co-workers who, um, who uh, might know more about the demo as far as the information. So just so you guys know, I did put it out there to Mark. I was like, listen, if 
your buddies at Konami are interested in chatting with me, I would love to host something like this on uh, on this channel uh, because that would be great if we could, you know, sit down with a couple people, you know, um, close to or around the what is twenty second or twenty. What would have been? Well, the game was supposed to come out what like ninety nine or something like that or two thousand. So, I mean. This game was the reason why I bought the Dreamcast. I saw the previews for it. I saw the trailer on IGN and was like, I need to own this. I talked about this a lot in the review. So the demo was apparently just a walkthrough for level design. So it doesn't appear that it's playable beyond that, according to what Mark's saying here. Uh, so I don't think that there's any kind of whip animation or anything like that. It seems like it was just like, hey, Sonya can run around and maybe there's some enemies or whatever. So you can like get a sense as to what the game looks like. That's what this demo appears to be. Mark told me that he hit up the person on eBay, the seller, and I'll just read this verbatim. He said, late breaking news, the owner of that GD says that the GDI is already or soon to be released to the public. He says he's waiting to see what the game hacker community does with it. He is also going to hold on to the disc for now, having removed the auction. He claims because there were so many fake bids, but really I think because he didn't want to tangle with me legally. So I was like, whoa, what do you mean legally? Like you threatened to sue him or something? So he said, well, not so much a threat, but told him that I would not be happy if I found out that someone who did not create this work profited from it without compensating the artist that built it and that it would likely become a litigious matter. I also proposed that he give me a 20% take if he did sell it. Haha, <laughs> that would have been nice. Might have paid for some of my personal gear that I use for the project. So at that point, I was like, yeah, he should have split it with every single person that worked on it, technically. Uh, indeed, he wrote, although he ever would have got Konami to sign, never, I'm assuming he's saying never, he never would have got Konami to sign off on that, even if, even as he was claiming that I needed to prove ownership of my content before he would take it down. I called this bluff, and now it's gone. I would rather it all be free PD material with a CC license as long as other people aren't profiting from it. Uh, I just told him that I have high res masters and that it's well known and that the pr burden to prove ownership is not on me but rather him to secure the rights to sell this material. I also filed a NOCI or notice of claimed infringement on eBay but I doubt he even got that by the time he took it down. I only filed that based on his, <laughs> his I'm gonna just censor this, his terrible initial response. Uh, yeah, a search for Castlevania Resurrection OST is all one needs to do. That's 100% true. So, again, if this guy just did his homework for two minutes, he would have seen that Mark is the composer on this, as well as several other soundtracks online. And it's not too hard to find him. I found him. So, obviously, it just takes a couple minutes. So that's, that's it. So that's the reason why the eBay listing got shut down. And he pulled it. The guy pulled it out of fear of getting sued. And that's basically it. Now, as far as the demo being released, it, according to this, he reached out to Mark. And I mean, he said this in the eBay listing really late in the game where I guess he spoke with Mark first and then he updated the post and was like, don't worry, I'm gonna release it to the public. And everyone was like, yay. And then he took it down. So most likely I think what happened was based on this conversation with Mark, it sounds like he got shook and he decided, you know what? I don't wanna get sued. I'm just gonna hold on to this and then I'll just release it to the public uh, through the games community, hopefully through the Castlevania community. So that's it, that's my scoop as far as what happened with the Castlevania Resurrection drama and this demo. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like it, share it, let other Castlevania fans know about it. I'd like to get the word out as much as possible and uh, that's it guys. So more Castlevania goodness on the way, I'm sure. Uh, I don't feel that this resurrection stuff is done, not by a long shot, now that we know that the demo exists. So when it does come out, I will make another video kind of giving my overview of it, playing it, showing it. I'll do everything I can to get that footage for you guys so you could see it and get my you know my thoughts on it so that's all i got guys thanks so much for watching stay tuned for more from the channel i got a review coming up very soon so stay tuned